back with another installment of Emerging Artist Testimonials. So in my first video, in my countdown, one of my resolutions was getting better at talking about myself and my work and what it is I do. See, when you're talking to non-artists, people get this, this look on their face that's like a mixture of suspicion, bewilderment, disbelief. But I think when people are talking to artists, there is an extreme discomfort about what exactly it is a self-employed artist does all day. This is me at some law society kind of cocktail party thing. Someone will come up to me and ask, What do you do all day when your corporate lawyer husband is working those long hours? Well, I'm working too. Okay, so the point is, to make social interaction easier, I decided to make this video breakdown of what a work week looks like for me and for probably lots of other self-employed artists. 20 hours per week writing. Seriously, I mean this, writing like it is my job. Speech writing, corporate writing. Blogs, articles, grant applications, these are writing contracts that pay decent money. Then, on top of that, I always have one new play and one new screenplay going on at all times. Four hours per week auditioning and preparing to audition. Again, this is a yearly average. Some weeks are fantastic and other weeks are... 10 hours per week at a fairly steady gig making audiobooks and guides. If you take the amount in column 17 and subtract it by the amount in column 32, that is your total taxable revenue. Add that to the amount in column 89 divided by the amount that's actually a job. 15 hours per week at the secret actor jobs. We get hired to play medical patients for doctor training and travelers for border guards. And one time this kid paid me to play her mom at parent-teacher night. I'm kidding, that didn't happen. Four hours per week attending networking events, cocktails, opening nights, and your colleagues' shows. Now, I'm not saying that this is all work and no play, <laughs> pun intended, but the hours are significant and should be accounted for. Two hours per week running storytelling workshops, doing interviews with the press, or Q&A sessions. Six hours per week at the gym because my body is my instrument. And also because this industry is overwhelmingly superficial and sexist. Still, in 2015. Two hours per week staying on top of self-employed accounting, paying bills, taxes, paperwork, administrative work, Three hours per week submitting your work to festivals or for grants or trying to get new gigs and contracts. Three hours per week meeting with collaborators to talk about new projects and ideas. Two hours per week making sure that your social media is up to date and perfect and also checking your messages and hoping that that creepy guy who saw you on the sexy murder television show stops writing to you and telling you how nice your feet are. So again, a commercial average of rehearsing plays, acting in plays, TV, commercial, film work, voice work, corporate videos, all of that stuff, I'm going to give it a conservative average of 10 hours per week. Here are the things that I still try to do every week and often fail miserably at. More creative writing. I often find myself wishing that I had 10 extra hours to write the great Canadian play or the next Mindy project. Improving myself. I often wish I had an extra five hours at the end of the week to, you know, work on myself, finally figure out the right brow shape for my face, but alas, these five hours never come. So math doesn't lie. What have we figured out? We've got a kind of my ideal work week looks like 95 hours. So if we factor in 48 hours for sleeping, no, that's too generous. Let's factor in 45 hours for sleeping, let's be real. That leaves me with a total of 28 hours in a week for socializing, seeing my family, being in the same room as my husband, flossing and partaking in general hygiene that is necessary, 
and answering questions about what it is I do all day. There you have it everyone, thanks for watching the vlog. I hope you found it very informative as to what it is a self-employed artist does all day. And I'll see you next time for the next installment of Emerging Artist Testimonials.